Brexit saw the UK leave the Galileo programme, despite investing £1.2 billion into the space probe and supplying, and assembling, 34 key parts for the project. The Global Navigation Satellite System, GNSS, also known as Galileo, was built to rival the US GPS system, boasting a public regulated service, PRS, to be used by government agencies, the armed forces and emergency services when it goes live in 2026. But the EU determined its most crucial feature, PRS, would only be accessible for bloc members when the first satellite launches. This will mean that despite the UK providing the brains and heart of the project, it will be unable to use it. European Space Agency ESA, officials confirmed last week that Surrey Satellite Technology Limited SSTL, had shipped the last of the navigation payloads it was assembling. Britain's third country status means UK-based companies can no longer be involved in the way they once were. SSTL played a pivotal role in its more than 15-year involvement in the Galileo program. Not only did it assemble all 34 full operation payloads for the system, but it also built the satellite that initiated Galileo. Called GOVA, this spacecraft, launched in 2005, was the pathfinder that secured for the EU the use of its all-important radio frequencies. Without those frequencies, there would be no Galileo. Britain contributed around £1.2 billion to the creation of the bloc's £10 billion system, but Chair of the Parliamentary Space Committee David Morris says that has been left with the programme. He previously told Express.co.uk, going forward any benefit on Galileo will root through European companies and the benefit will be lost to us. The government, seeking a replacement for Galileo, has considered alternatives to an original plan to develop its own satellite constellation. This now means scrapping former Prime Minister Theresa May's £5 billion proposal for a UK GNSS system by pursuing OneWeb, the Low Earth Orbit, LEO, broadband constellation that the government, along with Indian company Bharti Global, acquired from bankruptcy. The new space-based positioning navigation and timing program SBPP, will consider newer, more innovative ideas of delivering global sat -nav, and secure satellite services to meet public, government and industry needs. British companies previously involved in Galileo will be hoping a concrete proposal comes forward soon so that they can transfer across all the knowledge and expertise built up over two decades. But the UK will not be able to keep hold of them all. Mr. Morris explained, SSTL was bought by Airbus and its development heart has been moved to Toulouse. 